we are going to be taking some notes over the water cycle. The water cycle is powered by the sun. The sun is the heat energy that causes transpiration. Transpiration is evaporation from plants. The sun also heats up the earth to cause evaporation. Evaporation is turning liquid into a gas as temperatures rise. The next one is after evaporation and transpiration and it all goes up, it creates and starts gathering to make condensation. Condensation is the turning gas into a liquid as temperatures drop. I'm going to go ahead and color my clouds a little bit of a light blue, light gray color. Once enough condensation has gathered, it starts making precipitation. Precipitation is water that drops to the earth. Now, there are several forms of precipitation that we will talk about. Precipitation can come down as rain, sleet, snow, and hail. Once the precipitation drops, there's a few things that can happen. It creates runoff, accumulation, and groundwater. The first one we are going to write about is runoff. Runoff is water 
that flows on the Earth's surface. The next one is accumulation. Accumulation is the collection of water on the Earth's surface. We see them as ponds, puddles, lakes, rivers, and other, like it's the water that you see that's on the top of the Earth's surface. And next you see groundwater. It is kind of self-explanatory. The groundwater is the water that is collected under the Earth's surface. 